Hidden amongst Thailand's enchanting temples and pristine beaches lie secrets that every traveler should know. Ever wondered why locals might frown when you point your feet? Or what's the one thing you should never touch in Thailand? Dive into this video, uncover the mysteries, and become a true Thai traveler. Ready? Let's go! Do's Dress properly When you're in Thailand, dressing appropriately is a must. Here are the key things you should know about dressing respectfully in this beautiful country. First, when planning to visit Thai temples and royal palaces, remember to cover your shoulders and knees, regardless of gender. It's a sign of respect for the monks and the historical significance of these places. Even though Thailand is exceptionally open-minded, it's proper etiquette to dress modestly in these sacred sites. For men, wearing shorts might be acceptable, but it's better to opt for longer pants if you want to show respect. Ladies, the best choice is to wear a long skirt or pants. Avoid tank tops, revealing sportswear, or t-shirts with inappropriate designs. Take off your shoes. When you're wandering around, remember that feet are considered unclean in Thailand. You'll notice that people leave their shoes outside in many places, such as private homes and small shops. This rule also extends to hotel rooms, leaving your shoes outside's a common practice. Don't hesitate to ask if you ever find yourself unsure whether to remove your shoes. Usually, signs in English guide you on whether shoes are to be left outside. One of the fundamental rules is to remove your shoes before entering a Thai residence, temple, or palace. The simple act is a courteous way to show respect and protect the space you're visiting from dirt. In Thai homes and temples, not taking off your shoes would be considered disrespectful. Respect the monarchy. Thailand's monarchy holds a special place in the hearts of its people, and it's a vital part of understanding Thai culture. If there's one thing you need to get right in Thailand, it's this. The Thai population deeply reveres their king and the entire royal family. Speaking ill of the king or disrespecting images of the king isn't just frowned upon. It's a severe offense that can lead you straight to prison. In Thailand, it's a criminal act to show disrespect to the royal family. The admiration for the king and the royal family is genuine and profound among Thai people. Any insult, disrespect, or even casual gossip about the royal family is considered rude and deeply disrespectful. Respect all Buddha images. Buddha images hold immense significance in Thailand and are considered sacred. Any disrespectful behavior towards these images, even by foreign visitors, can lead to imprisonment. This rule is taken seriously to preserve the sanctity of these religious symbols. Remember, when you encounter Buddha images, treat them with the utmost respect. These images are considered deeply sacred in Thailand. Climbing on or sitting on Buddha images is strictly prohibited. This rule applies whether you're at a temple or anywhere where you come across these images. Lower your body slightly when passing between or in front of people. In Thailand, a simple yet essential gesture is to lower your body slightly when passing between or in front of people. This act signifies respect and politeness, showcasing your awareness of others and your intention not to disrupt their space or conversations. Whether you're walking through a crowded market, entering a room, or simply moving past someone, taking a brief moment to lower your body communicates your mindfulness and appreciation for those around you. Smile Smiling goes a long way in Thailand. While it might seem simple, a warm smile can convey goodwill and positive intention. This small gesture holds great value in Thai culture and is genuinely appreciated. In a country known as the Land of Smiles, it's only fitting. Adopt a Mai Pen Rai Attitude Embrace the Mai Pen Rai Attitude During your time in Thailand, you'll often come across the phrase Mai Pen Rai, translated as no problem or don't worry about it. This expression reflects a laid-back and easygoing approach to life. It's a reminder that stressing over minor issues isn't worth it. Instead, focus on the bigger picture and relish every moment of your journey. Return a Y Greeting The Y is more than just a greeting in Thailand. It's a sign of respect. You're showing courtesy by placing your hands together and bowing your head. The position of your hands matters. Higher hands mean more respect, often used for elders or monks. Understanding and correctly using the why is a simple yet important way to connect with Thai culture and its people. Respect the monks and do not touch them. In Thailand, monks hold a revered status and are greatly respected. As a visitor, 
It's crucial to honor this tradition. Avoid touching monks, particularly if you're a woman. This stems from the monks' commitment to their Buddhist vows, which include refraining from physical contact with women. Consequently, certain temple areas are restricted to women, and it's essential to refrain from touching monks. When you encounter a monk, you can express your respect through a bow or a Y, a gesture involving pressed palms. Thai people often give up their seats and buses for monks, exemplifying the deep respect they hold. Don'ts. Don't forget the mosquito repellent. Covering all the bases regarding your perfect Thailand preparations means including mosquito repellent in your arsenal. While malaria isn't a widespread concern in tourist areas, it's still wise to guard against mosquitoes that might carry diseases, like dengue fever, which has a broader reach. It is a precautionary measure, like a lucky charm against the million-to-one odds. Keeping these tiny but potentially troublesome creatures at bay will improve your well-being in Thailand. Don't point. Resist the urge to point. Instead, if you need to indicate something, use a unique gesture. Extend all four fingers while keeping your thumb flat against your palm. It might seem a bit peculiar, but trust me, it's worth mastering this cultural nuance. While pointing is a common practice in the West, adopting this new way of communication showcases your cultural awareness and adds authenticity to your interactions. Don't overstay your visa. Overstaying your visa isn't a mere oversight. It can have a significant consequence. Beyond immediate financial penalties in the form of fines, individuals may face more severe repercussions, such as deportation or blacklisting, which can prohibit future entry into the country. Ensuring compliance with visa regulations is not just a matter of adhering to legal stipulations. It also demonstrates respect for the host nation's rules and regulations. Moreover, it safeguards one's reputation, ensuring smoother future travels. Don't put your feet up. In Thailand, it's a cultural norm not to rest your feet on surfaces not intended for them, like chairs or coffee tables. Feet are considered unclean, so they're best kept on the floor. If you're on the floor, tuck your feet beneath you or place them beside you, away from those nearby. The key is avoiding unintentional foot-related gestures, like pointing or pushing objects with your feet, as Thai culture views these actions as highly impolite. This particular don't might be tricky for Westerners to master, as we often use our feet without much thought. From nudging a door, we are close to slipping on a shoe. Why the emphasis on feet? In Thai culture, the feet are seen as the dirtiest and the lowest and least significant body part. This perception influences behavior, as propping your feet on tables or extending them towards people or sacred objects is considered disrespectful. Never stretch your feet forward at a temple, especially if they're pointing toward a monk or Buddha image. Another interesting tidbit, Thai currency carries the image of the king. Therefore, avoid stepping on money, even if it accidentally falls. This action could be interpreted as a sign of disrespect towards the monarchy. Don't touch anyone's head. This simple rule encompasses gentle gestures like patting a child's head or playfully ruffling someone's hair. This is a big no-no. The head is revered as the most vital part of the body, and touching it is considered deeply inappropriate, even if it happens accidentally. Swiftly apologize if you inadvertently touch someone's head. The general rule remains intact, while exceptions exist, such as private moments between romantic partners. Don't be overly affectionate in public. While younger Thai couples might be seen holding hands, going beyond this level of intimacy like snuggling or kissing could be perceived as excessive. While Thais understand that Western behavior varies, being mindful of cultural norms fosters positive interactions. Hand-holding won't raise eyebrows. Passionate displays of affection might. Don't take Buddha images out of the country. Avoid taking Buddha images out of the country. While you might come across these images for sale, it's essential to understand the cultural and legal context. You might be captivated by a beautiful Buddha image and consider taking it home as a souvenir. However, it's crucial to know that taking Buddha images out of Thailand is strictly regulated and without special permission, it's against the law. 
Buddha images hold deep significance in Thai culture and are treated with reverence. While stores might offer these images for sale, it's not guaranteed they'll inform you about the legal restrictions. Don't stand on the raised threshold of a house or temple. According to traditional Thai belief, these thresholds are believed to be the abode of guardian spirits. It's customary to step over, rather than stand on, these thresholds to show reverence and maintain their tranquility. If you're at a Thai house or temple's entrance, you notice the raised threshold beneath your feet. In Thai lore, guardian spirits reside in this spot, keeping a watchful eye on their surroundings. Avoid touching or riding elephants for entertainment. Elephants, revered creatures in many cultures, often find themselves at the center of tourist activities in places like Thailand. However, it's essential to understand the dark underbelly of some of these attractions. Many elephant camps have gained notoriety for cruelty treating these gentle giants, from being shackled in chains to ending rigorous training that breaks their spirit. The realities they face are often far from the carefree rides and tricks they perform for tourists. Riding elephants or using them for entertainment can inadvertently support such cruelty. As a responsible traveler, it's crucial to research and choose ethical animal encounters that promote the well-being and conversation of these magnificent beings. Supporting sanctuaries or rehabilitation centers where elephants can roam freely and live naturally is a step toward ensuring their protection and well-being. As we wrap up our Thai adventure, don't miss what's next. Check the top corner for your next journey. If you've enjoyed this, hit like, share, and subscribe. Safe travels.